Well hi there, and welcome to Cloud Chief Arcade. In today's video, we're continuing our walkthrough for leveling up to 99. And in today's video, we're going over Genkai 2 or G2. So to start, you need to be at least level 51. You will be unable to flag the quest and actually obtain what you need to obtain unless you are level 51. So once you have 51, go ahead and talk to Matt up in Rulu Gardens. He will mention something about some powerful monsters up in the north and that you need to obtain some Frigisite. The place that Mate is talking about is called Zarkabard, which is way up in the north. Normally it would take a long time to walk up there, but we're going to go ahead and utilize a warp to make it much easier to get up there. While we're up in Rulu Gardens, let's go ahead and flag another quest from an NPC that will allow us to warp around after you do a few things. Just head over to G9 and talk to Anastase and say that you'd like to help him out. If you'd want to know more about Proto Waypoints, which is what this quest entails, you can go ahead and click the link down in my description that goes over everything with Proto Waypoints and how to unlock them all and how that works. So at this point you want to go ahead and head back to your starting city so you can use the Unity Warp to go ahead and get up to Zarkabard. If you haven't joined a Unity yet, then I have to wonder because two videos ago for this series I said you should go flag your Unity so that we can start accumulating points. If you haven't, then I guess you're going to have to hoof it. I will link a video in the description showing you how to get to Zarkabard the long way. So, at this point, talk to your Unity NPC that should be near where your Sparks NPC is. And once you talk to them, say that you want them to take you to a Unity battle. You're going to want to go to the level 125 and then select Zarkabard, and then they will go ahead and immediately warp you up to that area. Also, be aware that you can use this to warp around to a lot of areas in the game. So feel free to take a minute and look around to see what areas it can take you. There is a quest that you have to do to unlock the ability to warp to white gate areas. So now that you're up in Zarkabard, go ahead and summon your trusts because almost everything up here is going to aggro you. So you're definitely going to want to have a party to make sure that you're going to stay alive. Also you can ride your mount so once you have your trust all summoned, just go ahead and hop on your mount and that's going to help make this entire quest much easier. There will be three triple question marks in separate caves and basically you click the question mark and it's going to give you the frigisite that you need for the quest. However, there will be a notorious monster that will be running around in that cave that has a very large aggro range and even aggros through Invis and Sneak. However, the NMs will not aggro you if you're on your mount. So you can ride to the back of the cave and wait until the monster is near the front of the cave. Go ahead, hop off your mount, check the question mark so you get the key item and then hop back on your mount again and then ride off. You are free to fight them, but they are pretty difficult. So, it's just much easier just to ride up, uh, wait for an opportune time to hop off your mount, get the question mark, and then hop back on and ride off. It's just much easier, quicker, and faster to do it that way. You can find these triple question marks at I-5, J-6, and G-10. Also, it would be a good idea for yourself to have picked up a map, so that way it's much easier to follow along and see where you're going. Otherwise, this zone can be complicated. So once you've gotten all three Frigisites, sites, just go ahead and head back to Mate, talk to him, and congratulations, you can now level your character all the way up to level 60. If you have not done so already, now would be a great time to start going through and doing missions because you're going to need to be up to at least rank 4 to be able to easily continue with the next uh, Genkai or G3 quest to level up even more, but we'll be going over that in future guides. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you got some value out of it, and as always, may you have success in all you do.